Hello, this is Joe Polish, and I'm about to interview a guy by the name of Peter Wasowski. He is the founder and CEO of a company named Vasper. He has over 35 years of experience in the field of medical technology and vascular health. As manager of clinical development at GE Medical Systems, he's worked all over the world, including his native Poland. As a true visionary, Peter fused his extensive knowledge and experience with the passion for expanding human wellness to create the Vasper technology. Today, the patented Vasper system is used by the Navy SEALs, NASA, Olympic and professional athletes, physicians, and others from 10 years old to 94 years old. Let's get this uh, started. Here I am with uh, with Peter. You, you founded this thing, so behind Let's us is the Vasper. Let's so what, get on it. What's going What's going to happen? So I just we'll we'll have you walk me through this. So anyone watching this, because I this is the first time I've actually utilized it. We installed this in my office today, and I just want to have you take me through it. So this is uh, I'm just going to sit down, and then you explain what's going to go down. Absolutely. Okay. So, here we are, I, I'm barefoot. Why am I barefoot? Why, so the reason you're on. barefoot is actually for two reasons. Number one is uh, we want to cool your feet. Mm -hmm. Normally when you're under a hot blanket and what happens when you're too hot, you stick your foot out. Okay. So your feet are your th radiators and thermostats at the same time. If your feet are a very specific temperature, you have more energy, you don't feel hot. Okay. So that's one reason. The other one is we want to actually download static electricity from your body as well. Great. So this is uh, these are made out of brass. There's no germs that will live on brass and copper. Really? So, absolutely, because of electrolysis. So this is also very, uh, very good from from that point of view. Okay. So for people who've never heard of this before, what exactly is a Vasper? Uh, Vasper stands for vascular performance. Okay. And, uh, and this is precisely what we do. We enhance your vascular performance throughout a 20-minute low-impact exercise, mm -hmm. which allows you to. Uh, biomimic a much more intense exercise in a much less amount of time. Okay. And um, so it's it's like a force multiplier. Normally you would have to work for maybe hour and a half to two hours and it takes about the same time to recover. Mm -hmm. For here your uh, actual exercise part is 20 minutes. You have a one minute cool down on the bike and followed by another 10 minutes cool down lying down. Okay, so, so just to reiterate what you just said, so I'll work out for approximately 20, 21 minutes, mm -hmm. and then I'll lie down for 10 minutes or so, but okay. that's the equivalent of an hour and a half to two hours of exercise. It's, you know, many people have said that, uh -huh. uh, and, uh, and the reason they say that is because they feel a tremendous amount of burn uh -huh. in the quads, especially, that normally would take much longer to get. Okay. So uh, it's definitely much more efficient than any other form of exercise. Great. This is the first time I've sat on this, so this is awesome. And uh, tell me what to do. Awesome. So let's adjust your chair. Okay. Just push back a little bit more. Back, okay. Back. Push, push, push. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay. Then the first thing we do is we'll put on the cuffs. Okay. So uh, whichever leg you put the cuff on should be up first. Okay. This is to prevent slip. And not slipping. against the skin, just over the fabric? Uh, it can go against the skin. This is basically to prevent it from, from sliding okay. uh, on, your, on your shorts. Great. So this is, this is designed for you to actually put this on yourself. Okay. Uh, since you've not, not done it, I'll show you how to do it. So you basically tighten it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then the next thing is your arm cuffs. You can just slide slide here and the <coughs> the purpose of the cuffs is to slow down the peripheral circulation slow down the venous circulation and therefore concentrate mm -hmm. much more lactic acid in your muscle tissue and the more concentrated lactic acid you have the stronger the feedback to the pituitary gland actually okay. that uh, basically this goes on your leg yeah uh, <laughs> handed in my arm so you're sending a signal to the pituitary gland that you just destroyed your muscle tissue because you're getting a very high concentration of lactate. Okay. And uh, so we, we basically are hacking the brain into thinking you just ran up a 2,000 foot mountain and destroyed the muscle tissue. Wow. And that happens from concentrated lac lactic acid. And what's also interesting is I took, uh, 
I took a, a blood test uh, previous to this. We're going to test testosterone levels and if it increases it and things like that over the next few weeks. So I'll keep people posted on that. Absolutely. So and now, now I'm waiting. feeling it's feeling cold just going through here. Wow. We're waiting for the cuffs to fill. Wow. So <coughs> we're cooling your back and we're cooling the back of your pelvis. Okay. And um, if you can imagine, if when you ever s when you see people putting on like wetsuits, they have this big rubber flap that mm -hmm. covers the bottom. So there's a tremendous amount of heat exchange that can happen from the back of your pelvis. So that is more effective than having something in front that would not stick to your chest when you move. Okay. But yeah, this is it's really cool. Yeah, this is wild. So this is just the. And so behind we have a. Uh, what do we have behind us here? Uh, it's a chiller and a controller for the whole system. So it controls okay. the pressure, cooling, and the flow to the cuffs and to the back seat. So right now we'll press start. Okay. And you can go ahead and start moving. So the idea here is to keep that red line between the two yellow lines. Okay. So this number here should be around 50 to 60, 80. So right now so it's at 48. Yeah. So the so have it between 60 and 80. Something like that. Okay. This will keep the red line between the two yellow lines. So you have a nine minute warm up right now and then we will do six sprints. So then it will get really hard. I don't think it's going to get really hard. Well, you'll tell me. Okay. The, the, the cooling aspect of it makes it much easier to accomplish okay. than if you were sweating, which is normally what we do during con con conventional exercise. Well, what's interesting, yesterday I did legs in the gym. I did squats, I did leg extensions, and I also ran mm -hmm. uh, a mile, which I rarely ever run. Mm -hmm. So my legs are even a little sore right now. I, I mean, it doesn't feel bad here, but I'm just curious to see how this all, how my body will respond to this. So some questions like what inspired you to, uh, you know, create this? And What inspired me to create it is my own uh, health issues myself. And uh, when I started working on this, we had just moved to the Big Island of Hawaii. Uh -huh. Prior to that, I was diagnosed as pre-diabetic. I flunked my glucose tolerance test for quite a few years. Mm -hmm. And I have that in my genes. My grandfather died of diabetes. And I also had two fr uh, arthritic ankles from two fractures, two separate fractures. So when you move with this type of issues to a tropical climate, these symptoms actually become much worse. And I decided to uh, create something that would address the actual cause of the problem rather than treat symptoms. Okay. So Peter, what main problems does this solve in terms of for health and what does it actually do in terms of results for clients that use Vasper? Mm -hmm. So any physician, any doctor would tell you that, that exercise is the best form of medicine. It's better than any medications. And most of us are not able to exercise with an intensity required to result in health uh, and mm -hmm. eliminating toxins and so forth. So this is a force multiplier and uh, it allows you to, to have the results of a very intense exercise in a low 20 minute, low impact uh, uh, session. Mm -hmm. So there's a number, number of benefits that uh, would be seen if you were able to do uh, anaerobic exercise, lifting weights, running up the hills, and so forth. Okay. So, I mean, so how, how is this, I mean, obviously, other than I have cooling going through me, uh, in layman's terms, how is this different than uh, other forms and other ways of working out and exercise? And if you could, I guess, explain it that way. Yeah, so normally, if when you exercise, you exercise uh, in, a, in a gym using some type of equipment, and we sweat. Yeah. So uh, whenever you sweat, there's a tremendous amount of blood that has to go to the surface of the skin in order to sweat for you, which means you have less blood flow at the muscle level. The less blood flow you have at the muscle level, the less blood there is there to remove the lactic acid. And that's why after intense exercise, you very often have delayed onset of muscle soreness. You have sore muscles because the lactic acid pulls in the muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. Also, um, for the exercise to be efficient, it requires a tremendous amount of time involvement. So hour and a half, maybe, or at least an hour. Uh, and uh, what we're doing here is we're cutting that down to 20 minutes plus 10 minutes cooling. Okay. And during those 20 minutes, your actual intense part is about three minutes because you're doing, in this case, you're going to be doing six 30 second sprints okay and that's the only intense part so it is this is something that a 94 year old can do 
or a young person can do, where if you look at traditional gym model, less than 20% of the people actually buy gym membership. And most of those people actually just pay the money. There's very few people that mm -hmm. actually attend the gym. Uh, this is something that everyone can do, regardless of their age or physical condition. Gotcha. So now this is not an inexpensive piece of equipment. I mean, there's, there's quite a cost uh, involved in doing this. So what, uh, what, is, what is the reasoning why this is a, you know, call it expensive, call it a costly piece of equipment? Well, it's a, this is a brand new technology, of course, that took a uh, number of years to develop. So there is yeah. an expense in uh, research and development that we need to take out. Right. As, uh, as we move forward and as we go to economies of scale, the cost is definitely going to be reduced over the next few years. Yeah. So I first heard about this from uh, my friends, the founders of Strategic Coach, Dan Sullivan and Bab Smith, and they swear by this. I mean, as long as I've known them, which is now going on 18 years, uh, they have tried all kinds of stuff. They've always had personal trainers. They've always exercised and, you know, eat very well. And this Vasper system, they swear by. I mean, they're talking about it at all the strategic coach meetings. And finally, you know, I have one now because of their recommendation. Um, so it's, it's done a lot for them. So the type of person that this would most benefit is who? Actually, anyone. It would benefit anyone. It definitely benefits anyone over a certain age, over 30, 40, 50 years old. Uh -huh. Because as we get older, we have less and less energy to perform anaerobic exercise. And this gives you the ability to reap the benefits of this intense exercise without actually having to do it. It's also done in a very safe uh, situation. Like right, right. now, you're, you know, there's no danger you're going to fall or drop a weight on your foot or something like this. So it's, it's, it's a very safe piece of equipment that produces results of exercise that is not always easy or safe to do. So this is really tight on my arms, really tight on my legs. And what is the compression for other it, than keeping the cooling? The compression is designed to slow down the elimination of your lactic acid from the muscle tissue through, okay. the, through the venous phase and therefore create concentrated, high concentration of lactic acid. There's a very important um, thing to consider here that we're talking about concentration rather than the amount. And the higher the concentration of the lactic acid in your muscle tissue, the stronger the feedback to the pituitary gland requesting growth hormone because you're sending a feedback to the brain telling the brain you just ran up a 2,000 foot mountain or did you know, maybe two sets of um, CrossFit type very hard exercise and destroy those muscle tissues. Okay. So the pituitary, once it receives that signal, it starts generating additional levels of growth hormone and other hormones, anabolic hormones, to rebuild the body back. So you're now creating that signal without having to break down the muscle tissue. So this is basically like hacking the brain into thinking that you've done intense exercise. So for a layman, which I would consider myself, when you say pituitary, and hormones and lactic acid and stuff but what what does that really mean like what is the what is the body actually doing right now well we're, we're talking about endocrine system uh, optimally functioning at an optimal level so you see that in children whenever you see five six seven year olds you don't see them walking they're going full speed ahead so wait wait this you know, says six seconds before sprint okay let's do uh, a sprint let's okay. do a sprint so Take some deep breaths in through your nose, out through your nose, and hit it. Go ahead. 30 seconds. Crank it up. The red line between the trillion. That's beautiful. Okay. Very nice sprint. Keep it going. Push and pull with arms. Push and pull with legs. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Okay. And not that bad, though, I mean. You got eight, seven seconds. You're almost done. Okay, okay, now you now you go all the way down to 20 watts. Slow way down. It's slow. Two zero. See this? Yeah. 20 watts or less. You can grab the handles to check your heart rate if you like, and just go very slow. Another 20 watts or less. Okay. Your heart rate is going to come up here. What what you will notice is that your heart rate is much lower than it normally would be during a sprint like that. So you're at 121, and the reason for that is cooling. So whenever you're cooling, your your blood vessels stay closer to normal size 
you're not sweating, so your heart doesn't have to work as hard. So, uh, wow. so this is a hibernation mode. So you have an electric car. This works sort of like electric car going down a hill. Whenever you're going down a hill, you take your foot off the gas, you're actually charging the battery and you're getting ready you know, for going up the hill or doing something else. So here you have a 90 second rest period. As you, your muscles relax, you should feel a little bit more burn on your quads. Yeah. Yeah. So you're generating stronger signal to the brain and you're resting for your next sprint. So it's a basically... And I always want to keep it be between these... The red line between two yellow lines. Okay. Yeah. And try not to talk during the sprint. Just focus on the sprint. It's only 30 seconds. Okay, so some deep breaths. Brace yourself in a chair. Only got three more seconds to speak. There you go. Awesome. Crank it up. Very nice. Beautiful sprint. That's your power curve, looks really nice. Okay, eight seconds left, five, three, two, one. Okay, back to hibernation. Wow. Grab the handles, let's check your heart rate again. What many people report as they get into it, the exercise actually gets easier as the heart rate crank, cranks up a little bit. So let's see what we have. So we have 131 now. So you're definitely an aerobic type uh, exercise during the sprint. So if you were to look at yourself right now, your arms and legs are actually performing anaerobic exercise, like lifting weights, but okay. your chest is aerobic. So a lot of, and you're cooling, so you're not sweating. So a lot of people refer to this as intelligent exercise. Maybe we should change it to that, gen that genius is, exercise. That <laughs> is, a, yeah, that's a great term, intelligent <laughs> exercise. Um, so with other forms of exercise, what should I do? I might have interrupted you when you were talking no. about the other Please. stuff halfway. Um, can I still continue to lift weights and work out? Do I change the way? Well, of course I can, but do I change the way that I do them? This is a great foundational exercise to any other form of exercise. So once you do this, you can... You, We've, we've had athletes tell us they are doing much better with weights, much better on a bicycle, mm -hmm. much better with running, because you basically are cranking up your whole endocrine system and there's no muscles to be repaired. So uh, you can use that extra hormonal load to, uh, to do other forms of exercise. And that's why your performance actually increases. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. Three seconds. There you go. Another sprint. Very nice. Beautiful power curve. Five, four, three, two, one. Hibernation, heart rate check, if you like. You don't have to. Uh one thing I wanted to also mention is that we're talking about increasing your, your hormonal balance and mm -hmm. increasing the endocrine system. And, and some athletes that we've heard a lot about doing, are trying to do that by injecting synthetic hormone. Right. Whenever you do that, when you inject synthetic hormone, actually it floods your brain so you stop making your own growth hormone. And the pituitary gland or the brain is responsible for sending signals for other hormone production as well. So that signal is cut off, and we call that the downstream anabolic effect is cut off. So that's when you have to replace those other hormones as well. Yeah. And hormonal balance is very closely linked to emotional balance. So once that happens, the emotional balance goes out the window, and that's mm -hmm. when you see you know, athletes doing crazy things to their girlfriends, beating them up in an elevator, or doing things like that because they're hormonally out of balance as well as emotionally out of balance. Right. What we're doing with Vasper is we're actually enhancing the hormonal balance in concert and that's why we're getting this amazing results because as your hormone growth hormone increases the stronger signal goes to testosterone DHEA and other hormones anabolic hormones that we build your body while the balance is maintained that's a very important factor to consider I got a question for you after this next sprint then about that okay so grab okay the handles. so three seconds two one go go for it awesome 
Animal Performance by Joe Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. Pay attention to the Genius Network shirt. I know I'm not supposed to talk here. There you go, very good. Seven seconds left. Wow. Right. You know what's interesting? You don't you can't see from the camera here, but I actually the last two I've done the harder sprint than what I was doing before. That's interesting. That's right. Yeah, your strength increases and that's why the exercise difficulty decreases. And we should see a higher heart rate, slightly higher heart rate. So what you're saying about injecting steroids or growth hormones, I would imagine for doctors that would many probably may not well, doctors that actually just want to look at the economic model, not ones that genuinely are trying to help their patients, this would probably uh, decrease a lot of, be it athletes or other individuals, if they could naturally balance their horm hormone systems with the VASPR. Absolutely. Plus, this is legal and safe. I mean, do you have enough studies, on, like tons of studies, proving that it does this? We don't have tons of studies. We have some uh, pilot studies, and we have now two studies that have been completed um, in uh, Texas. Mm -hmm. And there's another study that's uh, being considered now by NASA. We have a system at the astronaut gym in Johnson Space Center. And we have very interesting studies starting up uh, with Dr. Kantu at the Con Kantu Concussion Center uh, near Boston. Yeah. Uh, but this is a brand new technology, so we don't have a huge amount of uh, published trials. One we more only sir? started shipping equipment a year and a half ago. Okay. Awesome. Beautiful. Very nice sprint. I could see your energy going up. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Two seconds left. All right. Back down to 20. Well, what's interesting, too, as you know, like I just came off the tail end of doing a Genius Network meeting the previous week, then going to uh, my buddy uh, Peter Diamandis' event. And so I've been going nonstop for about uh, eight days now. Mm -hmm. And so I'm kind of tired. So. I'm curious to see how this affects my, my mental clarity because my, my brain is kind of foggy. It's one of those things where you've been, you know, just being exposed to large quantities of data inputs mentally. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I feel right now. So I'm already kind of in a tired state. So I'm really curious to see how I feel from this. Yeah, I'm curious to see how it, how it works on you as well. But this is cool though. I like it so far. This is pretty awesome. And the sprints are challenging. I mean, that's definitely a challenge, but I'm obviously going at the upper levels of what I can do. Yeah, so the software is designed to accommodate every level of physical ability. So we can, mm -hmm. we can work with a young child. We can also work with a senior who is 90, over 90 years old, and then Navy SEALs and professional athletes in the middle. So there's a tremendous amount of flexibility with software. I'd love to have you talk about what it does for the, the Navy SEALs after this sprint here. Absolutely. One more second. Okay, All right. Last sprint. Last sprint. Crank it up. Push, push, push. Okay, almost done. So Woo! Now we just go for the for the last minute cool down. Okay. Should I do the heart rate again? If you like, absolutely. If you have a, a polar heart rate monitor, you can see your heart rate at all times. Okay. And uh, we're also looking at physiological monitoring devices that are off the shelf that we can incorporate into the into the system. So I have one more minute and then I'm done? Then you're done, then you're going to 
be on the cooling bed for 10 minutes. So I'll hold some of my questions for now. Okay. And then we'll continue with more after. So how often does, do you recommend someone does this for? I think it's very important to do 10 sessions in two and a half weeks, so every other day. Okay. And then check in with your physiology to see how, how you feel, and then you can decide whether you want to do it twice a week, once a week, or however, however this works with other types of exercise that you do. So the, you can combine it. Gotcha. And, um, professional athletes very often, some of them do it every day. We have n several of these machines in private homes that are being used every day. Um, I think Dan has used it a couple of times in one day, so. So can you overdo it? I don't, uh, you can possibly overdo anything, mm -hmm. but uh, I have never seen anybody have severe issues with doing it more than. Okay, so here we go. So right now we know exactly what your average watts are, average strides per minute, sprints, strides per minute, and so this is a very interesting information that you can actually see how it improves as you as you continue. So the next thing you press done. Okay. And then we start the cooling bed. And that's connected and right to there. Okay. That's right. And then we, we just slide the, you can just slide off your, your cuffs and hang it in the back with the tubes pointing down. Right here? Yeah. On the, on the arm thing. Okay. And Great. then this comes off and uh, again, you can just flap it like this over and put it also in the back with the tubes pointing down. And we're good to go. Just like that? Just like that. Great. And then um, just um, your head goes here and your feet go up there. I feel like a champion now. Let's see. <laughs> so my head goes here, and here. And then your, your legs up there. All right. So the whole idea is to, is to cool down. But huh. one thing that I will also offer you, just give me a palm of your hand. So we use essential oils that actually relax your brain. So this is lavender and Palo Santo combination. Should Rub your hands together? together. Yeah. And then just put it over my... Smell it, yeah. Well, tell us, uh, Peter, some of the best results that you've seen for people that have used this, maybe like some before and afters, uh, so people would have some context. Because in a lot of ways, this, uh, the purpose of this interview is to not only share with many people kind of some of the things that I'm doing, because there's lots of, you know, I meditate, I do float pods, I obviously uh, try to eat as clean as I can and exercise, uh, focus on sleeping, and this is just one more you know, introduction into something to, to help improve my performance. And most of the people that are in my world are uh, athletes, but I think of them as corporate athletes because they're some of the best in the world at what they do. So if you could maybe share some uh, before and afters, uh, what you've seen uh, as a result of people that have that used the Vasper. We've seen some amazing results with physical therapy uh, patients, uh, with seniors, for example, uh, one case I remember is a 94-year-old woman who broke her ankle mm -hmm. and uh, after the cast she was unstable. She was told to stay in a wheelchair for the rest of her life and uh, she came to see us for four weeks and after four weeks I have a video of her dancing. So that's a major shift of um, being told to stay in a wheelchair and then dance. Did it put like the, what, her ankle was completely healed where the break was? was or? Yeah, it was okay. after the cast came up, but she was still unstable. Mm. And after four weeks of Vasper, she was 100% uh, back to wherever she was before the What What did the Vasper do for her? Like what, how did it, how did it help well, her? It helped her by allowing her benefits of very intense physical exercise that she was not able to do. Okay. And, uh, and that's really what Vasper does. Uh, so we all know that our bodies were designed for movement. The minute we are stationary, uh, health goes south. Mm -hmm. uh, the more we move, the better. Now you can overdo the movement. You know, a lot of people that do ultra marathons, you know, wear down their cartilage and have, have other issues that, that are on the other extreme. So Vasper is basically designed to, to give you the perfect balance of your endocrine system and total health, uh, which also includes emotional health and includes the sleep experience. So the uh, 
for example, for Navy SEALs, for a lot of the military uh, personnel that we work with, sleep is a huge issue. Right. They cannot sleep. Mm -hmm. So when you w and between second and third stage of sleep, just before REM sleep, your brain produces 50% of your growth hormone, five, five zero. That's half. So if you miss that, you wake up tired, and that's why people that sell energy drinks are doing well and coffee and so forth, because many of us miss the miss that very critical sleep cycle path where you actually get this release. Right. And uh, and the most frequently reported benefit, for example, from the military and many other people, is much huge improvement in the quality of sleep. Wow. And vivid dreams and waking up in the morning feeling rested where you don't have to grab that coffee right away or, uh, or energy drink. Yeah. So that translates into a huge improvement in the quality of life. That, that would be all. I'm not a great sleeper and I don't do very many, you know, uh, stimulants in terms of coffees or teas or, or I mean, I never drink sodas. Mm. Uh, so in terms of caffeine uh, consumption, it's, it's very limited. And even that, I still, you know, I'm type A personality, that sort of stuff. Uh, and so I, I'm curious to see how this will affect my sleep because I've really focused a lot over the last year to really improve uh, sleep because I think it's so critical to, to rest the body. I mean, uh, so many other aspects of your life get so totally thrown off. And I've seen people's health dramatically improve just by improving their sleep. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So what, what else? What else uh, have you seen in terms of... Uh, yeah increased uh, strength, muscle strength. So this is the only piece of equipment that actually has shown to build muscle strength in a senior person, somebody who is, let's say, over 65, 70 years old. And this is the, one of the major benefits that Dan Sullivan has reported, is that he actually has seen muscle growth and increased energy from this. Uh, so that's a huge, huge, huge benefit for, for that population. Right. For for younger people that we work with, because they are on computers quite a bit, they're, again, they don't get enough movement, and sometimes there's not enough hours in a day to put in uh, in order to, to get a benefit of this, and this actually provides this. For athletes who are doing this, they actually do much, much better on, the, uh, on their athletic events. Mm -hmm. So we've done some work with uh, triathletes where they've increased um, their performance and actually cut significant amount of time off the race. Right. Uh, so professional teams are using it. We're now working with Texas Rangers, uh, baseball team, uh, San Jose Sharks, uh, hockey team. Uh, we're seeing benefits all across the board. Anybody that can actually move their limbs will benefit from this equipment. So it's, you have these pieces, astronauts are using them. Uh, That's right. Explain wh why and what is it doing for them? Well, when, they, when they ask, the astronauts that are using the, this equipment right now are using it prior to their flight. So again, it, it maximizes the benefit of athletic performance in a much less amount of time. And mm -hmm. I've met some of these people, they, they are extremely intelligent, usually many of them have several degrees, and they have a very uh, busy work schedule. So rather than putting two hours of exercise and then spending another hour and a half to two hours from recover from it, this is an ideal form of exercise for them where they feel great afterwards, their endorphins are high, and they could be much more productive at work. We are also going to be working with astronauts that are coming back, that where you know you lose bone tissue and muscle tissue and zero gravity or microgravity, right. and this will give them back their strength faster with less risk of injury than anything else. Now, Peter, obviously I'm, I'm talking to you while I'm laying on this thing. In a normal situation, I would just be kind of, you know, just... Right. Do, do people ever, do you recommend not talking at all when you typically do this afterwards, or is it more just getting the cooling down? Most of the time, when what we recommend and what most people enjoy is afterwards to sort of go in, take a nap, relax. This is, the, this is what this is designed to do. One of the major benefits of uh, cooling afterwards in a supine position is that we are heat exchanging with your blood, with your cerebrospinal fluid, and again, any fluid that you will lower the temperature of will pick up more oxygen. So in, in this idea, we provide more oxygen to your brain in addition to the oxygen you're breathing in. Mm -hmm. And brain is known as oxygenaholic. So this is why after you know, 20 minutes, 21 minutes of exercise, some of it intense, you can recover totally and not feel like you've just worked out, like you've just seen reported. Right. 
because of this extra oxygen and um, and relaxation. So normally there would not be a conversation. This is a unique situation. Normally we would encourage you to close your eyes. That's right. why we turn off the lights and relax. And unfortunately, because I interview people for a living, I just had to had to go down this road. Plus, you you actually have to get back to San Francisco, which is where your headquarters are. Right. So what what's what do you uh, for all the people that are out there watching this? What uh, certainly uh, is there anyone this th this is not for? The only people we would discourage from using this piece of equipment would be somebody who has vascular disease, for mm -hmm. example, uh, clots in the in the legs that could actually result in a stroke. That this mm -hmm. is a a very very tiny group, and and people that have those problems know about it. They have pain in the legs and so forth. So this is a condition called deep venous thrombosis. Those would be the people that we would ask to have a cardiologist clear them for this. Gotcha. Um, we usually don't recommend it for women that are pregnant simply because we don't know uh, exactly what, what could possibly happen. But uh, most people are actually benefiting from this on a regular basis. So, yeah. so what, what, do you, what do you see the future? Uh, wh where, where do you see VASPR technology in the next you know, five years? Um, I see this um, as changing the way we think about health because we think about health in a very reactive manner. You know, we, we get sick, we go to a physician or an, another medical professional and, and keep our fingers crossed that that person is gonna do what is right. And if that works well, then we're okay. If not, it may not work so well. So this, uh, this device was designed to give you the power to become, to have total sovereignty of your own health, become a CEO of your own health right. by cranking up uh, your whole endocrine system by boosting your whole immune system. So first of all, you're much less likely to be sick. Yeah. And once you are, if you do get sick for some reason, you can recover much faster. We've had people who actually did need orthopedic surgery, for example, who did this and recovered from surgery much faster than the doctors expected. Interesting. So again, proactive health, something that our bodies were designed for without the huge time element and the uh, willpower very often to, to, to do intense exercise. Gotcha. So how long have I been on this now? Let's see, this was set for 10 minutes. So yeah, you're done basically. I'm done? Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting, well, sir, I'll just ask you a few more questions. So let me see how I feel. A little cold. No, but I feel great. I didn't sweat at all, which is amazing. It didn't feel like I had to exert tremendous amounts of uh, energy. So that either means the way that all of this works together. And, and it would be really hard to convey how the cooling feels to someone watching this. So how does one acquire one of these? Do you just sell them outright? Can they lease them? Um, what are, I mean, what, what are the different options of how someone can get one? I guess there's maybe facilities that people can go and pay a fee to, um, to, use to it. do it. If you visit our website, vasper.com, mm -hmm. there is a link there for scheduling a session and you can uh, see anywhere in the United States that we have these machines and contact information so you can actually go there and and schedule it. Uh, in uh, California and San Francisco area, we have two of our own centers. One is in San Jose, one is a smaller mm -hmm. facility in, at NASA Research Park at Moffett Field. But we have also a number of uh, physicians, uh, hospitals, physical therapy centers, and individuals who actually own gyms, small gyms, uh, and a bigger gym actually in Honolulu, uh, mm -hmm. that where you can schedule a session and actually sign up for a membership and do it on a regular basis. Or you can buy it for your home. We have uh, several of these systems, I think around 11 or 12, that are installed in private homes. Yeah, Dan, uh, Dan and Babs have, uh, they have one or two. They have well, they have one in their house, and then the, their trainer, Tony DeCC, has one at Body Sculpt Canada. Okay, that's right. Okay. Very close by yeah. in Toronto. Uh, there's another one in Montreal in a gym. Okay. So, so is there any questions that I didn't ask you or any subjects that you think would be well served to be covered that I didn't bring up? I think the important thing uh, that, uh, you know, this, this is completely out of the box technology. People have yeah. a very difficult time understanding that concentrating lactic acid is positive because whenever we think about lactic acid, we want to get rid of it. Right. So, uh, so it's, it's not totally intuitive and it's very, very difficult to explain this. I would encourage people just to try it. Mm -hmm. To try it at uh, wherever we have these units available 
And if you come to one of our locations, we actually provide three sessions for zero cost, three free sessions. Okay. So that gives you three opportunities to find out how this works for you. And wow. then and then you can encourage it. So some of the other people that have it, maybe you will get a one free session. But giving it a try, actually test driving this thing, it, I would, would be critical before making the other uh, next decisions, how you want to, whether you can buy it or, right. or uh, le leasing will be possible. It's not, at, at this moment we don't have leasing option, but I think it's coming very soon, yeah. sometime in the next months. What will happen today? Because you said after about a two hour period, what, what will take place in the body? Uh, what usually happens uh, is after two hours you get a systemic increase of mm -hmm. endocrine uh, levels, of basically your anabolic hormone levels. So we test people hormonally and you, today you had a test and you actually tested some of your uh, hormones to see mm -hmm. where your baseline is before you did Vaspor. So after you do, let's say, 10, 11, 12 sessions. Yeah, do another test. Do another test and see what the difference is because you have what's called a cumulative effect. The longer, the more often you do it, and actually the healthier you become, mm -hmm. you can actually see it with your hormones. And there's a very there's a huge misconception about people being healthy versus not healthy. So whenever we see somebody who has this amazing looking body, we say, that is a healthy right. person. But very often if you, if you did a hormonal profile on those people, you find that they're not so healthy inside. Yeah. And the, the, the health inside is the real critical health. That's what we are going after. Yeah, I agree. No, I mean, we, we are in a society where people look at people and they, th they see them looking a certain way and they just assume that that person's healthy. But I, yeah, I, I have a lot of friends that look fantastic, but their digestive system screwed up, their hormone system screwed up, their mental yeah. you know, apparatus is, yeah, so there's and, a lot to And we see. often see people, well, maybe not too often, but we see people that, are, that look like a million bucks and then they drop from a heart attack. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, so the inside health, not only is it measurable, but it also feels completely different. When you sleep and you have a vivid dream and you wake up rested, that's a world of difference than waking up tired and reaching for a bunch of energy drinks and sugar and coffee. So that's when you burn candle on both ends. Mm -hmm. And sooner or later, you need to be an involuntary customer of, uh, of a medical facility. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Well, wh la uh, last night at dinner when you guys got in from uh, out of town, uh, you, we were talking about addiction because you know that one of my main areas of focus is uh, addiction. So I, what can Vasper do uh, for, be it the hormone system, the nervous system, uh, for anyone that uh, struggles with addiction, suffering from addiction, that sort of stuff? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, the, the, the issue of addiction has been looked at from every angle. Mm -hmm. And I think one angle that possibly hasn't been examined thoroughly is from the endocrine system point of view, from a hormonal balance. But mm -hmm. hormonal balance and the, the way we achieve hormonal balance here happens basically naturally in a young child. It's very difficult or impossible to, to achieve it later because your muscles are longer, you cannot concentrate lactic acid at those levels. So, so that's why this gives us a completely brand new look into this situation and into this problem, which is completely separate from what other people are doing. I'm not saying that what they're doing is not effective. It could be extremely effective. But in order to, to actually address the problem at its source, you need to find out how to treat the source. And mm -hmm. I believe that hormonal balance, having the whole endocrine system in balance, translates into emotional balance. When you have emotional balance and hormonal balance, then you don't need to reach out for, for a drug. Mm -hmm because you are actually happy, you know. So yeah, I saw one of your signs, you know. If you're not happy, yeah, do you're something happy. else. Right, if right. you're not happy, you're okay with it, don't do anything. So, so this is what basically, to me, that's what the, the essence of, of, of happiness and satisfaction in life comes from, being balanced hormonally. Mm -hmm. And again, we see that very, on everyday basis, we see it with, with our children. And when right. you see those children, you know, they don't have post-traumatic stress issues, they don't have depression, they don't have, they're just, alive and they love life right from where it comes from so this is the whole idea was bring it to uh, all of us so maybe this could you know take every uh, every adult that's gotten screwed up along the way and help uh, help hopefully unscrew them a little bit yeah yeah we learn a lot from our kids 
Yes, we do. Yes, and we I, do. I learned a lot from the two that I have. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Well, so uh, basically, this this video, I, I uh, my my idea was to record it for my Genius Network members, for people in Strategic Coach, but I figured we might as well just share this with uh, people in the world so they can see some of the stuff that I'm doing and and new technologies that are out there. So again, the website is uh, Vasper. Uh, dot com then get all the details there and uh, any famous last words you know I have a formula for happiness myself and and that formula goes like this if you want to be happy for 10 minutes take a nap if you want to be happy from time to time have a drink whatever it is that brings you happy uh, if you want to be happy for two weeks take a vacation but if you want continuous happiness and gratification keep creating positive difference in the lives of others. Yeah, that's and, awesome. And that's where it comes from for me. So seeing you come off of this and feeling great is a huge boost uh, for where I live. You know, this is where, this is where I take. Yeah, it, it, thank you. And, and we, we had dinner last night. We didn't go all this in, in the interview, but you, you really kind of explain your journey. And I mean, you've put a lot of time and a lot of effort. And I imagine there's millions of dollars behind all of this research and everything. So uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, for all of our uh, viewers, if you're listening to this, obviously you haven't seen the video version of this, if you're listening to this on the audio version of the podcast, but uh, just you know, go watch the video, which we'll post on YouTube. It'll, it'll be out there on Facebook, and uh, I'm gonna, I'll keep you updated on. I am going to do what you said. I'm going to do uh, you know ten sessions in the next two and a half weeks, and I will report back to everybody uh, what it's done for me, and uh, go from there. So thank you, Peter, and thanks for watching. If you're if you're someone out there that has ever used a Vasper, uh, if wherever you're watching this video, please make comments, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>